What's going on guys? Plotter McCards in the house and today I'm coming to you with one of the most if not the most competitive duel I have ever had in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Whenever I face off against Eldritch, most of the time it usually ends up like this. But today, oh my god, today I get my revenge and I barely do it by the skin on my teeth. Anyway, guys, before we take a look at this duel, let me just show you some of the most, uh, some of the changes that I made to this deck. Uh, they've actually come in very clutch. I managed to pull one of these, a Fright for Chimera. I managed to pull another Fright for Daredevil, and I managed to pull a Dangerous Fright for Nightmare. And so these actually come in really, really clutch, and I'm glad I managed to get these and put them in the deck. So without further ado, let's take a look at this duel, guys. So, in my starting hand, I drew three Fright for Patchwork. How the hell did I draw all of them? I do not know, but you can only use one of these per turn, so I'm kind of limited in what I can do with my hand. He uses Cursed Eldland, and now he's going to pop off his combos. Obviously, he's going to set cards face down. He's going to send cards to the graveyard in order to special summon his monster. There it is. There it is. And it starts off with 3,500 attack, and now he's going to use his trap card effect from the graveyard in order to set one. And he calls it a turn. So I have three Fright for Patchworks. I draw an Edge of Scythe, which is good enough to run some fusions. Uh, I'm going to use my Fright for Patchwork, and he's going to activate his trap card. And that allows him to summon another boss monster. How about that? And then I'm going to use my Fright for Patchwork to add one Poly and then one Edge Chain. Edge of Chain is clutch in this deck because it allows you to search for and get other cards to your hand. So Edge Jim Chain and Fluffle Dolphin are going to fuse in order to make Fright for Kraken. I didn't summon the the Whale because I didn't have a card on my side of the field to destroy yet. So both of these cards that I just used to fuse each have their own effects. Edge Jim Chain is going to allow me to search Fright for Fusion. And then Fluffle Dolphin's effect is going to activate, which allows me to shuffle my Poly back into the deck, which ends up being very clutch. So I'm going to destroy his monster with the highest attack, and then I'm going to use... Um, my Fright for Fusion in the graveyard to banish two from the grave in order to summon my Cruel Whale. And I got to do what I got to do, guys. So I'm going to have to destroy my own card to destroy his card. That's the only way I'm going to be able to manage this. And I send a Fright for card to uh, up its attack, by the way. So I sent Fright for Repair, and then this thing's attack gains. His spell card is destroyed, and I can put an end to his card. And now he's going to use his trap card. This is the most annoying thing about this deck, the fact that he can just use the trap card effects to search and set trap cards. So now it's his turn, and he's going to use his second trap card. He's going to banish it, and I'm going to use my effect just in case, because you never know. I'm going to send... Wait a minute. I believe I sent... Yep, that's what I thought. I'm going to send the sheep... And he's going to set another one of his trap cards. And now he's going to use his Eldritch. Adds it back to his hand. And then it summons itself. With 3,500. And then another one. And along with mine. But I'm going to use Edge of Scythe. So it doesn't make too much of a difference. Because then I can go straight into another fight for cool Well, I pretty much just need it. Because I don't have anything else that can uh, gain attack. So I need something that's strong enough. So Fright for Cruel Whale's effect is going to activate. I'm going to probably send another sheep, guys. Let's be honest. So sheep goes. Its attack gets boosted. I can destroy one to destroy one. So, But I can use uh, my Edge Imp card in the graveyard to negate my card from being destroyed. And then I draw a Toy Vendor. Finally, a Toy Vendor. Um, Fright for Patchwork is going to activate, which is going to allow me to search for a bunch of stuff now. And he's going to use his trap card from the graveyard too. And on the field. So as this chain resolves, he's going to use his trap card, summon it, destroy my monster. My monster's effect, unfortunately, is still going to activate and I can send, I dump a sheep. And then he's going to set a spell card while my Fright for Patchwork is going to activate. I'm going to add a gym chain. And then I have no choice here but to summon Toy Vendor. And then Toy Vendor's effect is going to activate. I can destroy a Gym Chain to draw one. And if it's Fluffle, I can Special Summon it. And then a uh, Gym Chain, since it was sent to the grave, I can add a Fright for Fusion to my hand. I'm going to use my Fright for Fusion in order to banish those two from my grave. And then Special Summon another Fright for Kraken. Now Kraken is going to let me nuke his monster. 
and then I can declare an attack. And since I declared an attack, I can switch it to defense mode. And that's his turn, guys. And now he draws a card. I'm a little bit scared at this point because I know he's just going to keep bringing back his boss monster over and over. And then, of course, just like I said, brings back his boss monster over and over. And at this point, I'm I'm scared, obviously. But I do have a Fluffo monster on the field. I have Fright for Patchwork that's going to allow me to search both a Poly and an Edgeimp monster. And then he's managed to set a trap card. So depending on what I draw, which is Edgeimp Scythe, which just comes in even more clutch, I'm going to use Fright for Patchwork. And then he's going to activate his trap card and his second trap card. And then he's going to summon. He's going to banish one of mine to the grave. I don't know why he banished that because I wasn't going to use it. And then he summoned another Eldritch. And then Fright for, uh, allows me to search. I'm going to draw a Poly and an Edgem Chain. Then I'm going to use Toy Vendor to send the Edgem Chain to the grave to add an Edgem Sabers. Then I can run a Poly. That allows me to summon uh, Fright for Daredevil. Daredevil, every time I destroy a monster, he takes a 1,000 extra damage. And since I have so many extra deck monsters in the graveyard now, thanks to the fight for a whale, he's going to take a lot of damage if this thing leaves the field. So that's something I w was hoping he wouldn't attack and would call my bluff there because that's kind of all I got left, right? And now he's popping off a bunch more combos. And, of course, he's going to summon a goddamn Eldritch again. And this time it has 3,500 attack. He's going to declare an attack, but I can use my Edgem Scythe in the graveyard to stop it from being destroyed. So I can last for another turn. All I got to do is make him take 1,000 more damage, and the way the math adds up is uh, he will lose if this thing leaves the field after he takes 1,000 more damage. So then he activates his card, which sends mine to the graveyard immediately. So my combo isn't going to work, but he takes 4,000, and then I'm going to use my Edgem Sabers. I'm going to special summon it. Then I'm going to use my Fluffle Owl, which allows me to search a poly. Then immediately I'm going to go into a fusion again. And then that's going to let me search fright for Daredevil. Now I have four cards left in my extra deck. None of them are ones I usually use on the regular, and most of them are not ones that can get over anything here. So then my Toy Vendor's effect is going to activate. I'm searching a Fluffle Owl. I have kind of stacked for next turn because Fluffle Owl can search. So now it's his turn, and he is going to use... He's not going to use Shredder Tribute. I th if he had used that, he would have lost. He's going to use his Eldritch, Eldritch the Third. All three of them are on the field at the same time. Now he's going to go into his uh, number XX, which at this point I thought I had the victory, but he pulls this out, and I'm like, God damn it, dude. And now as he gains, uh, what, 500 was it? And then he's going to use this thing's effect afterwards. Once per turn, you can detach two XYZ materials, banish as many special summon monsters as possible. That thing is broken. And then Toy Vendor is going to activate, and then I'm going to activate my Fluffle Owl, and then I'm going to use another Poly that I just searched with the Owl. I confused all three of those to dangerous. I had no idea what this thing did going into this. Zero idea what this did. And then I just realized, hey, it has 6,000-something attacks, so I just go into it. So somebody, excuse me, somebody had to do it. I am the chosen one. Somebody had to do it. Well, guys, some improvements I think I'm going to make for this deck. I'm going to include three Ash Blossoms for sure. Uh, probably going to take out the Mystical Space Typhoon. I've tried to use it in order to nuke my own Toy Vendor to get its effects off, but it hasn't been uh, been used that often. I need one more Foolish Burial Goods, and obviously I need to fill out my extra deck. Looking back on this duel, guys, I probably could have attacked his defense position monster with my Fight for Daredevil, and it could have probably infected 1,000 damage to him. But I was worried he had something that would negate effects. So that's why I wasn't trying to do that right away. Also, his uh, his number 77, I was a little bit worried about how the effect necessarily works with... Because he's allowed to attach a monster that he banishes on my side of the field. So I wasn't sure if my Fright for Daredevil's effect would activate. So that's why I kind of had to summon the boss monster, just to make sure. Um, when you're in the heat of the battle, everything's kind of like going really quickly you're trying not to screw your you're trying not to screw up you're trying not to lose right so that's kind of what my thought process was there um anyway guys if you like what you see please don't hesitate to like comment and subscribe this was plotter mccards and oh my goodness look at the time it's time to do